This is a true story of single mama drama coming from a viewer's comment. Just the tip number one, no matter how hot she is or how amazing she seems, you have to automatically assume as a single mom, she has lower market value than you do. Tip number seven, all single moms are more selfish than single women without kids. They have to be. So fellas, no matter how lonely you are or how desperate you feel or how amazing she might be, you must avoid these five types of single mama dramas at all costs. Welcome to Just the Tip Tuesday. Okay, so let's go through his story and along the way, I will reveal the five types of single moms you should avoid at all costs and what this poor fella should do. We're gonna call this fella WTF because seriously, once you hear his story, you're gonna be like, what the Flintstone? And yes, we feel for you WTF. So bear with us here. We're gonna give you some advice. So WTF writes, I've been dating a single mom, mid thirties, and she makes assumptions about what I'm doing. And then she makes those assumptions like they're fact. First type of single mom you should avoid at all costs is the I'm always right, you're always wrong mom. Now, lots of women are like this, but it's even more amplified when you're dealing with a single mother. If you wanna know the reasons why other women, not necessarily single moms, always think they're right when they're not, then you wanna watch my video, why she thinks she's always right when she's not. I will put a link at the end for you, yes I will. But any woman who thinks she's always right and never wrong, especially a single mom, is gonna make your life a living H-E double hockey sticks, especially when it comes to matters of her kid. WTF goes on to write. So I had a situation like this. I'm working my third shift and you know she was talking about this pumpkin patch event about a month ago. She always brings her kids to the pumpkin patch every year. Okay, that's a good thing. She's talked about it a few times leading up to the date and says, you know, if you can't make it because you're too tired because of sleep, that's not gonna be a problem. Now, so far, this is actually looking pretty good. She seems to be considering his health needs and his work needs, and she's giving him notice that this thing is coming up, but stick with us because this story is gonna change. But here's a just the tip for men who are considering dating single moms. Never promise something unless you're willing to throw your life on the line to deliver, especially when it comes to her kid. And do not throw out maybes because maybes are as good as solid promises. Remember when you were a kid and you got a maybe? That maybe was as good as a yes to you. So you, it's not just that you're gonna disappoint her, but you're gonna disappoint her kid and that's just not fair. So you're better off to disappoint up front and then maybe deliver, under promise and over deliver, especially important when you're dealing with somebody else's kids. Remember, that kid did not choose to be in a broken household. And if she's trying to give her kid a sense of consistency and stability, that's a good thing. That makes her good mom. Now remember, good moms and good partners are not necessarily one and the same. So just the tip number two, I've already said it, maybes that turn into no's are far more disappointing than if you just said no from the get-go. Okay, let's get back to WTF. So the day comes along and she wakes him up to say, hey, we're going to this thing, are you coming? If you are, then you gotta get up right away or we're not gonna make it on time. And he's like, I can't, I gotta sleep, work, health, gotta do it. So she leaves and she's, she doesn't say anything, but he can tell she's pissed. Which brings us to type of single mom to avoid number two, silent but deadly also known as passive aggressive. Now, gentlemen, that's not necessarily the case here, but it does bring it to attention that you want to avoid women who will walk away seemingly calm, but allow her anger to fester only to get you back later. If she gives you the silent treatment, you may think you've gotten off easy, but she will torture your soul later. So if she pretends everything's okay, but your gut feeling says everything's not quite so okay because she's kind of punishing you in other ways, like maybe she's withholding affection, saying she's got a headache, but you know that's not true. Or she decides to go to her mother's for the weekend, but takes all the leftovers, so you've got nothing to eat. 
or she's been ignoring your texts or not replying very frequently or with short messages, but says she's just been distracted or busy, but you know that's not true. Or anything unusual but aimed to hurt you. That's a major red flag. Passive aggressive, silent but deadly. So here's where this is a little bit applicable to this particular situation. She let him sleep right up until the time where they had to leave. She didn't say, hey, we've got to leave in half an hour. Or can you be ready to go? She was like, we got to go right now or we're not going to make it. And then she bailed right away so that he didn't even have time to get ready if he was going to get ready to go. So she could later be mad at him. That's a red flag. WTF says she just walked out and like he's up 10 minutes later and ready to go and she's busy texting him all angry and pissed off because he wasn't ready like instantly upon waking. Then he says, she often starts arguments over text, which I'm starting to hate. Which brings us to the next type of single mom you want to avoid at all costs, drama mama. So first of all, WTF, you should not start hating this behavior from her now. You should hate it from the very beginning. It's tougher to retrain someone how to treat us than to nip it in the bud from the get-go. We teach people how to treat us. Starting arguments over text is immature behavior, and yes, it is a red flag. Now, if a woman is legit upset, no, she's upset. No, she needs to walk away to calm down and then does calm down and maybe doesn't punish you or just maybe she decides it's not really that big a deal. Or maybe she comes back and discusses her needs and her disappointment in a mature way. That's not a red flag. That's how relationships are. You got to communicate. Just a tip number three. We all have emotions, but women are typically a lot more emotional than men are. It's neurological, biological. That's the way we're wired. I wasn't there during the creation. I am just the messenger. I'm just the decoder. So yes, a woman is allowed to have feelings, just like you're allowed to have feelings, but it's how she expresses those feelings that counts. Is it mature or is it immature? Is it safe for you or is it unsafe for you? Men can be the victims of abuse from women. It happens a lot. And ladies, if you are watching, or gentlemen, if you think a woman should hear this next bit, please share this video. Ladies, you know darn well, you can be rational. You can moderate your feelings. Because guess what? When you do that, you do that with other women. Because if you treated other women the way you treat your men sometimes, you would have no friends. You know this. I know this. Don't treat your man poorly. Be as kind as you would want to be treated. Do unto others as you want to be done unto. Well, Anna, he should have been up. No, you should have made that point clear a long time ago how important it was and that if he couldn't make it, you were going to be disappointed or that you would understand truly that his health is important. His work is important. Sorry, I'm going on a rant here because I want to shake people. All right, let's get to the next point. Fellas, if she likes to start fights via text, she is a drama mama. Red flag. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that women also need a little bit more stimulation than men do in general. But for a single mom, generally having a kid already provides a lot of stimulation. There's a lot of things you have to think about when you have a kid. So if she has to go to the next mile to create drama on top of that, she's emotionally damaged. Not good. Red flag. So WTF continues. He says, so we get into it after and she ends up bringing the kids, but she tells him she can't fake being positive about it. Now, I'm not sure if he means that he ended up going and meeting them there or if she went without him and, you know, just wasn't happy when she was there because he didn't show up with her. I think it's the latter, but either way, it's actually not a red flag that she's upset about this or that she's disappointed. As I mentioned before, we're allowed to be disappointed. We're allowed to have expectations and we're allowed to have feelings and disappointments, how they're expressed that's important. And in fact, key point, you actually don't want a woman who's gonna fake her feelings with you because then 
that's a sign that she's a manipulator or a psychopath. Pretty sure you don't want either one of those. If you want to know five ways women tend to manipulate you, you will want to watch my video on that. So back to WTF. He says, she basically told me I hurt her feelings and then she was crying on the way home after seeing other people there together. <sighs> okay, yeah, fair enough. She was disappointed, but she didn't do her part in letting him know how important this was. If it was that important, she should not have said from the beginning, you know, it's okay if you need to sleep for your work. She would have said, it's really important to me and my kid that you're there with us. So can you really make sure that whatever you need to do at work is done so that you can actually attend this with us? Is that something you can do? Give the guy a chance to succeed. Give him a chance to do what he might want to do so that he can be there for you. Don't like bait and switch him. It's okay if you sleep. And then when he actually does need to sleep, you crap on him. Uh, no, 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 no. And no. And he reminded her that it wasn't that he didn't want to go, it was that he needed to sleep for his job. Which brings us to the single mom type number four you want to avoid at all costs, the read my mind. Now, yes, most women are guilty of this at some point. Women somehow think because we are better at being intuitive and reading hints in people that we somehow are expert mind readers. We're not, we're not at all. Ladies, we're not mind readers. We might think that something's off, but the reason we're thinking that's off is not actually the reason it's off. We notice that something's off. Yes, a lot of men don't notice that part, but we use our own perception and interpretation and experiences to project a meaning on that when it's not actually true. Tip number four for both men and women. Yes, we are more intuitive about the subtleties of human interaction and behavior, but we're not always right about what it means. Stop assuming or if you're going to assume, give the person the benefit of the doubt and assume positively. That's what you would want. So she didn't communicate in advance that this was important. And then she crapped all over him when he was bound to fail and assumed he'd know better. Um, no. Just a tip for men. Single moms expect you to step up even more for their kid than you do for them. That's just part of the package deal. So WTF continues, they talked about this weeks before, she knows he works long hours, his job requires him to pay attention because there's chemicals involved and it can be dangerous if he screws up, so sleep is super important. In fact, he actually fell asleep at the wheel driving home, which he failed to tell her about until after this incident occurred. But guess what happened? She didn't believe him. Type of single mom to avoid number five, me, me, me. Not me, I don't have kids that I know of. Wait, I always wanted to say that. Anyway, okay, anyway, selfish. However, we all must take responsibility for our own actions. So here's one of two things that could have happened here. One, he gave her a maybe and she took it as a yes and her kid took it as a definitely. Can't do that, we've already talked about why. Maybes give hope. And then when they turn into a nope, it's a double disappointment. Number two, he should have told her about the falling asleep thing at the wheel when it happened so that he could let her know how much he needs his sleep so that he can let her know how dangerous it is when he doesn't get enough sleep. Telling her after the fact will definitely make any woman suspicious of the story. Tip number six, you gotta take responsibility where you can, fellas. The more you take responsibility and own up to the things that you know you would have done differently or could have done differently or wished you had done differently for your own integrity, the more she'll trust your words. So he finishes up by saying, this really disappointed me and I'm starting to feel like she really only cares about herself. Just the tip number seven, all single mothers are more selfish than single women without kids. They have to be. They have a dependent that they've got to look out for and care for. That's part of what makes them good moms. And in fact, if she's not looking out for the best interests of her kid, that's a red flag because you should question her character. So do not date an emotionally damaged single mother, full stop. You will end up losing your mind your money, and possibly even your freedom. Not all single moms are damaged goods. My mom was a single mom. My dad died when I was 12. She chose to stay single for 10 years after he passed because she wanted to get her crap together 
and she didn't want to have somebody else be an influence in my life. She was protective, maybe overprotective. She was a good mom, but she didn't have somebody else come into that and have to deal with the baggage she was dealing with. And she was dealing with baggage for a long time. But any mom, any single mom who makes her current partner pay for the sins of her choices in men in the past or any of her choices is a red flag. Okay, let's finish off the story with WTF. So basically he's getting the shaft, even if he is giving her his shaft. He needs to figure out his standards, his expectations, and his boundaries, and he needs to communicate that to her. We teach people how to treat us, and it's much harder to fix bad behavior down the road. They're already trained, or they've trained you. Warning, if a woman is emotionally damaged, a narcissist, or a psychopath, a man needs to create an exit strategy with proof to safely get him out of a situation. So she can't threaten, trap, or wrongfully accuse him. I'm sorry, guys, it's so not fair, but at least in the West, the laws are not in your favor. Now, if you've gotten this far, you might be dating a single mom or thinking about it, or you have in the past, and if you have sons, you might wanna watch my other two videos on dating single moms to avoid and which ones to possibly consider. Watch those, watch those now.